something a bit different today. I was uh, doing a bit of dollar store shopping and I figured I'd uh, show you what kind of treasures I found here. But first, you may notice that this is not in fact a beer. It is Glen Farquhar's 12 year old single malt scotch whiskey. I'm not gonna do my usual tasting notes and whatnot on the beer or on the, like I do on the beers. Um, I will link a review of this, a proper review by a proper Scottish Scotch whiskey reviewer, Ralphie. Um, that will be down in the description below if you want to know more about that uh, Scotch. But the things that I found at the dollar store, I actually, well, calling it a dollar store is kind of a misnomer because they, I mean, they used to be a dollar store, but now they sell things for varying prices. This little screwdriver set, for instance, they have labeled at $4. And it seems like a not bad little set here. It's got, uh, what does it say, 30 pieces. So, uh, that's one. The case is two, which means there's 28 bits, probably. Um, and there's the listing of them. There's some torxes, there's some straights, some hexes, and then there's these oddball little security bits, a tri-wing, a triangle, and a U-shaped one. Where is it? There it is there. Um, those that I don't have in my accumulation. Um, and of course then there's the handle. I do have a couple of other screwdrivers that use these little miniature shank things, uh, miniature bits. There's this one, which uh, the those of you in the UK will recognize as something that you probably you guys find commonly at Poundland, uh, and it's got a what's that six seven bits in the handle, plus the one in it, so eight bits total, and those are basically an assortment of Phillips and straights, um, nothing too exotic in there, but it's a good solid little screwdriver for you know cheap this particular one i got off ebay from you know somebody in china for a buck but it's solid and those of you not in the uk may recognize this as very similar to the one that big clive's always got in his hand um the other set that i've got is this set that i found at princess auto uh here in winnipeg a few years ago it's also got a handful of the security bits and some torxes and stuff uh, a couple of different triangles a tri-wing um and yeah a bunch of torxes some straights some phillips i tend to usually keep a phillips in that straight in this one um and it also the one thing i liked about that is it has this long shaft that you can adjust or you don't even need to use that you can just put the bit straight in it but I like using this shaft here just to give me a little bit more reach. So that's, that's those. Now this one, okay, so it's got a kind of a padded rubbery, well, not rubbery, but you know, vinyl, whatever, handle on it. And it comes in this cool little stand. These are also, these red things here are, are rubbery, so they're gripping on to the bits as they sit in there. Well, I'm just wondering, what size of bit should I keep in this one? I've got a medium straight blade in this one. Yeah, maybe I'll keep like a jeweler's size in this one. Yeah, that's that could be handy. So that just slots. Oh, there's a magnet in the back there. Can you hear that? So that's that's handy. So, yeah, maybe I won't just keep one in there. I'll just keep it like that. And yeah, this has a sort of screw down top on it so they don't all disappear on you. That's actually not bad just for a cheesy little multi-bit screwdriver to toss in your toolkit, actually. Because it doesn't get all loose. Ah, cool. Okay, so there's that. That was four bucks, which is, that's actually what I went looking for. I'd seen them before and I decided, uh, I'll bite the bullet for whole dollars. We'll be. Then since it's almost Christmas, I found these light up acrylic icicles for a dollar fifty. 
batteries included. What a deal. So let's just see what those are like. So, I mean, these, these could, there's a couple of different variants that these could be. These might just light up, which would be okay, I guess, but it'd be kind of boring. I'll get that off the floor later. Um, or they could blink or color change or, I don't know, any number of interesting things. But, so what's going on here? Oh, okay. So that cap comes off and it has a spring. And then down in here, so now down inside here, this is kind of a soft, not too soft, plastic. And there's one lead comes up here and there's one down at the bottom. So this is just going to be disappointing. Let's drop these batteries in there, assuming they're not dead. So this is just going to be a single LED in there. I don't know what it's going to do. Hmm. wonder if those batteries even have any juice in them. Oh, those are crusty. Look at that. And yeah, okay. Their batteries included. They're shit batteries, but they're included. Let's pull out a different one here. So it looks like... So it looks like there's just one pin of the LED, or one wire of the LED. This comes straight up through the bottom of there and slams into the middle of the battery. And then this rubs against the metalized plastic here and theoretically makes a bit of a contact. Theoretically. Try this again. There we go. It glows blue. It doesn't flash. It doesn't do anything. It just glows blue. Okay. Uh, and the third thing that I got, it's not a tool. It's not electronic. It's a set of magic trick cards. Yes, my local dollar store. Well, actually, I you saw that previously, didn't you? I've, uh, yeah, I've picked up magic stuff from this same Dollarama in the past. Now, these ones are probably pretty lame as marked cards go. Um, because they cost me a dollar and a half. Oh, they feel pretty good, though. Let's pull the jokers off. Is there anything to tell me where the marks are? Oh, there it is right there. Um, so these aren't like a professional marked deck, so I'm not going to be running afoul of any magician's union rules or anything, which is fine because I'm not really part of that kind of a club, but... Um, <laughs> I don't know. First of all, yeah, before I even do that, uh, let's just zoom in on the back of the card here and see if you can see the marking quickly. Can you? No, that's the King of Diamonds. That is the Ten of Hearts. That is the Ten of Spades. That is the Four of Spades. That is the Ace of Diamonds. Can you see it? Can you see the marking now? There's one in that corner. There's one in that corner. So these are not going to fool anybody. They're not going to be used by a professional magician. Although they do have a pretty good feel to them, actually. Um, they handle fairly well. That's not bad. Let's see, I haven't done a pharaoh in a long time. Let's see if I can... If I can do one. Oh, this is... I am so rough. Now this isn't this isn't really a trick. This is just a a fancy kind of cut shuffle thing. 
Now I'm just embarrassing myself here. But that's... That's not bad. The handle, okay. The handle surprisingly well for something from a dollar store. The handle better than somebody with my hands deserves, anyway. So there is the trick. There is what it shows you on for this marked deck. And again, I'm not too upset, and I don't think anybody's going to be too upset at me showing you how a, a dollar store marked deck is going to work. Because... A proper marked deck that a magician would buy at a magic shop is not going to have markings that are that frickin' obvious. But still, that's that's pretty cool. Um, let's just try something. Seven of, of clubs. We'll shuffle him down. Now then, is it where it should be? Is it where... No, it's not there. Not any place obvious, not on the top of the deck. Oh, the top of the deck is Penn and Teller's favorite card. Is this your card? The three of clubs. But the seven of clubs is right under it. Okay. Um, I don't know. That could be fun. And if anything, I mean... It's a, it's a good deck to practice shuffling with. And for a buck and a quarter, I mean, a deck of uh, really good quality cards, either B or uh, Bicycle, is going to run you, you know, three or four bucks the cheapest you can find them. I think the dollar store actually had uh, Bicycles for four dollars. And at the very least, for kids, you know, for a, a kid doing a magic show for his friends, those would be fine marked deck. I can actually read it from from here because I know where to look. Five of hearts, four of hearts, three of hearts. They're still, they only really shuffled them a couple of times. They're still mostly new deck order. Uh, ten of hearts. But at normal viewing angles for an audience, uh, especially for an audience of kids, that's perfectly fine. Um, these screwdrivers, I like them. Uh... This, this container is actually probably worth as much as the screwdriver tips inside, but I did get, where is it? That one. That's one that I didn't have before. It's, it's a type of security tip and it could come in handy. Um, there's only one of these triangles and there's one of these tri-wings. I already had a couple in another kit, but there are some really tiny Phillips. What the hell is this one? They don't say on the shank. That's kind of sucky. Um, so we've got... Uh, that's not Phillips. That's Hex. Uh, and actually, that's not a Hex either. That is this one. A one millimeter just round poker. Oh, I bet you I could use that to pull the SIM out of a phone. There we go. But then, yeah, there's a good variety of hex and good variety of torques. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching whatever this was. It's not a mailbag. I don't know. It's just me going out, buying some fun stuff to amuse myself with. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you later. Mmm.